Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Thompson from Align for Life, the Isle Man's Family Wellness Clinic. Today we're going to talk about what sort of pillow should you use. This is probably one of the most common questions I get here in the clinic uh, as a chiropractor because obviously people are trying to find out about the impact that that pillow might be having on the alignment of their spine, in particular obviously their neck. Off the bat, there should really only be two positions that we should be sleeping in, on our side or on our back, because if we're trying to lie on our tummy, obviously we have to turn our head to breathe, and that's gonna put a lot of strain on the neck there. So if you are a tummy sleeper, you need to start to try and transition over into your side or your back. And getting into the recovery position to begin with might be helpful before you can eventually bring that shoulder around and rely fully on your side. <clears throat> if you're lying on your back, you really don't need a pillow at all. Because if you have a look at this chart behind me here, and we're gonna look at, this is a normal healthy neck. So let's just try to zoom right in here. This is the back of the neck over here. And this is the front of the neck over here. So this is the jaw and that's the back of the head and that's the shoulder, all right? So you'll notice there's this nice arc that it forms. And if you have a pillow positioned here, it's just gonna push the head forwards. Um, a bit like in this picture over here. And you can see that as that head comes forward on the shoulder, it's gonna pull that whole neck very, very straight. And unfortunately, that ends up causing a lot of tension on the spinal cord that sits just here. And that creates a lot of stress to the nervous system. So if you are lying on your back, really all you need is just a little roll-up towel just positioned in the base of your neck, or maybe a, um, a sock of, full of seeds, like a bean bag, only about this sort of size, just a position at the base of your neck to help try and reinforce the curve of your neck, especially if you know that your neck doesn't have a good curve, having a little rolled up bean bag at the base of your neck there can be very helpful when you're sleeping on your back. Preferably though, sleeping on your side is best. And if you're sleeping on your side, obviously now you do need a proper thickness pillow. And so let's assume that I'm lying on this side here. You wanna make sure that the pillow is not so thick that it's pushing my head across or tilting it across. You always wanna make sure that your middle of your head remains in the middle of your shoulder. So, sorry, the middle of your chest. So you may need to get a partner to eyeball you just to make sure that your head isn't shifting over or tilting over because the pillow is too thick. Obviously, if it's too thin, your pillow, your head's just gonna drop down towards the pillow too much, okay, or it's gonna shift across. And again, this is gonna cause a lot of stress to the neck not just to the joints and muscles, but in particular the spinal cord and the nervous system. <clears throat> so preferably lying on your side. For most men, you'll need a, a reasonably thickish pillow because we're gonna have broader shoulders than women. And if you're an average sized woman, you're gonna need a fairly average thickness pillow. I'd suggest memory foam would work best Try and avoid some of the more customized molded ones because unless you're the exact shape uh, and size of the, the, the model that was used to make the pillow, it's not always going to fit. So they will be helpful for some people, but for a lot of people, they will struggle. So anyway, that's top tip for, for your health today. I hope that that's going to be helpful. Share this with your friends and family because this can really make a big difference just to the quality of your sleep that you're going to get at night. But you must make sure that you get a good quality pillow in place. We do stock some here at the clinic, but as I said, you may need to try different pillows and we'll certainly be uh, more than ha happy to help you out to give you some advice on um, what sort of pillow you should use given your size and the way you sleep. And please post any comments below and I'll be more than happy to try and answer them when we can. So otherwise, we'll see you next week on Tuesday for your next top tip for health. Catch you then. Bye now.